yes, there is a lot of green in this picture right now, but is it really a bad thing? I'm gonna go with no. I know it's getting to the point where like, I really should take this tree down, but like, it's really good for helping me focus the camera. I'm filming this on January 6th, meaning that most regular decision deadlines have gone and passed, although I know there are still a couple on January 15th, but a lot of people are going to have interviews coming up, so that's what I'm going to talk about. So my interview went wonderfully. My alum was awesome. She was super chill during the interview, and she actually sent me a nice little congratulatory email after. So yeah, my interview did go really well, but it also kind of had a super bumpy start. Here's what happened. So I was gonna bring a copy of my activity section just to make the discussion easier during the interview, but I left it by my front door. Why? Because I'm me. <laughs> After getting to the cafe and realizing this, some panic set in, but honestly, like, not too much. Um, so I just, I went in, I got a latte, and I sat down towards the back of the cafe about 15 minutes before the interview uh, was supposed to start. Then a half hour passed, and I started to really panic because I hadn't seen my interviewer. It was 3.45, and, and I was like, oh my god. I was low-key freaking out on the inside, um, so I called her and asked if everything was okay and told her that I'd been in the cafe for a while. She was really chill and she said that she went in too, but she didn't see me. She was just a few blocks over, so she came right back and we got right into the interview. Oh my god, I was so anxious after that. But like, I'm also not surprised that it happened because like, you're meeting in a public place, but you don't know what the other person looks like. You know? <laughs> All right, now that I've told that story, let's get right into tips. Dress nice, not like fancy fancy, but nice. Uh, to give you an idea of what I wore, I wore nice white jeans with heeled black boots, a uh, teal turtleneck with some earrings and a leather jacket. Get there early, bring a copy of your resume or accomplishments if you would like. Uh, it can be helpful to your interviewer sometimes. Have good posture when you're speaking and open body language. This will make them perceive you in a more positive and even professional light. So don't be closed off, don't be hunched over, you want to be open. It sometimes even helps to mimic their body language. When you do that, it builds trust between you and the other individual. Be prepared to talk about yourself. I know that seems super self-explanatory, but sometimes such a broad request can catch you off guard. I remember on my tour at Brown, I was talking to my guide, she just like straight up asked me what I like to do, and I was just like, oh my god, what? Do I like to do? Do I even do anything? Does my time just waste away? Who am I? Why am I here? Oh my god. <sighs> so yeah, existential crises happen real easily over here. Anyway, going along with the whole talking about yourself thing, be prepared to tell your story. I'm talking defining points in your life, what the environment of the school you go to is like, the classes you took in high school, how you've grown over this period, your best subject, your worst subject, your passions, goals, hobbies, accomplishments that you're particularly proud of, awards you've won, unique things you've created or have done that didn't fit anywhere on your common application. Uh, I wrote a cool, really thick research paper for my AP comp final on the science, ethics, and realities of immortality slash aging slash senescence, that whole thing. Um, and when I mentioned it, my interviewer got visibly excited because it's a pretty cool, unique topic. Talking about unique, unpredictable things helps you stand apart from the rest of the applicant pool and your interviewer can use that in their recommendation. Of course, be prepared to talk about the school at hand, why you love the school, what you see yourself doing there, what specific traits and perspectives could you bring to the campus. Be super detailed. This is your time to be detailed. You don't have a word limit. You don't have a character limit. You love math? Why? Where did that passion come from? Who or what inspires you? You wrote a research paper? Great. On what? Why did you choose that topic? Let the passion be visible in your eyes. You volunteer for what organization? What about their mission draws you to them? Who are you and why do you do the things that you do? Seriously, that's what the whole interview is about. I would so recommend to just take a lot of time in preparation for your interview to just think about that question. Above all, do not stress yourself out, okay? Of course there will be nerves and of course you'll probably be at least a little anxious. Just remember, they're trying to get you into the school, not keep you out. They are on your side, and while interviews are considered in the admissions process and totally can give you the extra nudge in your application if your application is on the fence, it's usually not a make or break thing. 
Your interview will almost definitely not be the sole reason you don't get into the school unless you show up an hour late, spend half the time on your phone, are incredibly rude, and literally flip a table in an explosive outburst, okay? Remember, at the end of the day, it really is just a conversation between you and somebody who wants to get to know you and the type of person that you're gonna be. These alumni, these interviewers, they really do wanna help you, okay? So go out there, give them a reason to. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped at least a little bit. And also remember, if you don't get an interview for the school, it's not going to have a negative effect on your application. Sometimes there just aren't enough alums or interviewers to get to every student, especially in the regular decision applicant pool. Seriously, just be calm and confident. You're gonna do great. Leave a comment if you have any other interview-based questions or anything you'd just like to say or ask. Um, okay, bye.